What's up, YouTube? ODST Journal back again, and uh, today I'll be doing a tutorial to help you guys get uh, Gangren's Rescue Mod working here. Uh, hopefully, that's why you guys are here at least. Um, so basically, I just downloaded this mod the other day myself, and I was having a heck of a hard time getting it working. And I was looking through the um, looking through the website and stuff, and I saw everywhere that they were just having all sorts of issues getting it running with a bunch of different people. And basically, the generic answer was, oh, you've got it installed wrong. Well, okay, that might be the case, but why is it installed wrong? You know, I, I follow the directions, and it seems to be, you know, where it should be according to your instructions, but it's still not working. So, I want to start from the beginning here. We're going to go over some of the basic stuff, just to make sure you guys do have it installed correctly, and then we'll move on to some of the other fixes, and eventually what did fix it for me. Um, because what fixed it for me might not fix it for you guys, so let's go over the rest of the stuff here. Um, so the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go on to his website here, and uh, of course download it. It is only on GTA5Mods.com, that's the only one he supports. Any other websites that you download this from, it is not necessarily a legitimate release. In fact, it is not a legitimate le release, according to Gangren himself, and it may contain a virus or something. Um... So basically, he shows your requirements. You need ScriptHook and uh, ScriptHook uh, 5.net. Uh, you're going to want the most current versions on both of those. And that was the issue for me. I'll get more into that later, though. Um, and there's not really a whole lot of other information here. You don't need RageHook. You can use RageHook with it if you want, but you don't need it. It's not required to run this mod. Um, so you download it, and you're going to get a file that looks like this. Um, now, I just put this in my mods folder here, so it's with all my cars and stuff like that. Um, and you're going to get three files. And the installation instructions are included here. So you would go to this video here on uh, Gangren's YouTube page. I'm not going to pull that up. But um, depending on your installation path, it's going to change how you install this slightly. But essentially, all you're going to do is you're going to take your scripts, and you're going to just dump that into your uh, Grand Theft Auto scripts right here. And, um, so you're just going to put that in there, you're going to have it, it's going to look like this, or maybe you'll have some more scripts in there too. And, uh, you, that should be all you need. Now, it still wasn't running for me, and like I said, it wasn't running for a lot of other people after this. So this is what your installation path should look like, something similar to this. I have my, in the D pack, in the, my D uh, hard drive, and it's in program files instead of, uh, program files times 86. So this might be a little bit different than what you guys are seeing. In fact, it probably is, since a lot of you guys are likely using the C drive or Steam. Um, in which case, it's going to be under your uh, Steam apps common and all that fun stuff. But like I said, that's included in the uh, in the video right here. So we're not going to get too into that. And you guys can set up the, uh, the key list and stuff like that. Uh, I just kept everything by default. Um... Some people were saying once they got this working, they're having issue with the menu not working. Uh, the menu by default is M, and I noticed that the in-game interaction menu is also set to M, so that might be why some of you guys are having issues if that's why you're here. Um, I didn't experience that problem, so I haven't had to fix it, so I couldn't tell you what the issue is for sure, but I would say maybe look at your uh, game key bindings and see if your interaction menu is set to M. Try to change that to a different key that's free and see if that fixes it for you guys. So let's close this out. We don't need this. So we've got the rescue mod here. And you've got it in your scripts folder. And it's still not working. Okay, so the first thing you're going to try to do is go back and make sure that you have Microsoft Visual C++ uh, redistributable, pack redistributable Packages 2013. Um, as you guys can see, I just have uh, Microsoft Visual C++ 2013. It pulls up. Uh, this is part of the official Microsoft uh, website. You're going to go on here. You're going to download it in English. And you're just going to go to whatever one's appropriate for your system. Uh, in my case, it would be the Time64. And it won't work properly unless you download the correct version, so you need to know what you have. Um, so just make sure you guys research that if you do end up downloading that. Uh, so make sure that's up to date. That's the first thing you guys should do. If that's still not working, then we go to the fix that worked for me. And that is checking to make sure your script hook's updated. Um, now this seems like an obvious one, 
Um, but basically what happened is I went and I downloaded all my stuff based off of what Jeff Maviano had for his downloads on an older video he had put out. Well, the link he has, they it's not up to date. And I should have um, actually pulled this up before I recorded the video. Five GitHub. So you're going to want to go to uh, go to GitHub and look for their uh, script hook. Make sure you have the most updated version here. And I think it's this one here is the one I was at. Yeah, so it was uh, script hook 5.net that was out of date for me. My script hook was okay, but the uh, script hook 5.net was out of date. And I was running something, I think my release notes, it was like version 1.7. Obviously, that's not on here, so I'm not sure which version that actually was. But once I downloaded um, script hook 5.net version 2.3 and removed all my old script hooks and put this in, it worked fine. And the reason that it took me so long to figure that out is because every other mod I had worked fine. You know, my LSPDFR, all the car mods, all the other scripts and stuff that work as part of those. And I hadn't had any issues except for with the rescue mod. So I thought, for sure there's got to be something wrong. I mean, all these people are having issues for some reason. So that's what I would suggest you guys do is check out your scripts, or not your scripts, but your script hook. Uh, make sure that that's all up to date because that's what this mod relies on. And that's likely the source of your guys' issue. Now, let's um, let's get this pulled up and just to prove to you guys that it does work on Rage and that's not an issue. We're going to close this down here. We're going to move my Rage launcher here onto my second screen and we're going to launch this. And we're going to move this up a couple of times so it's in front of my monitor. Sorry guys, I'm just uh, moving this on the fly here. I can move it to the top, but I just didn't want to cover the webcam, so I'm being stubborn. All right. So this is set to GTA 5. Okay, I just wanted to make sure it's working. So you guys should be seeing uh, GTA 5 here now. And uh, you're going to be seeing that it's uh, it's loading up normally. It's going to go through the whole launch screen. Uh, so this is going to take a few minutes. So, I mean, you know... The game needs to launch fine. If it's not launching fine, then there might be another mod that is also causing you issues. So you might not be having issues with rescue mod per se. It could be something else. Uh, so let's go ahead. Let's go to story mode. And uh, it's going to go through, do its whole initialization of everything. Um, once it goes through, it's going to boot up LSPDFR. And then it's going to ask me if I would like to verify uh, a couple other plugins that I have set for startup so that like I said takes a little bit here but as soon as we're in game we can go and we can tr change to the firefighter mod uh, so actually once we get in game I think before we get started here what I'll do is I'll pull up the um, that menu thing that I was talking about and show you how I changed my settings here to prevent that from popping up because some of you guys are probably trying to figure that out too, even if you've got this working, you're probably going, how the heck do I get rid of this uh, interaction menu? So here we are as Michael. Uh, let's start off, we're going into our settings, key bindings, and I haven't really messed with my key bindings too much, but in general here, you're going to go down, and this interaction menu, by default, is set to M, and it should pull up something similar to this on your screen whenever you press M. So that's why I just switch it to my slash button so I can just do this. But uh, let's set F6, make sure it's working. So as you guys can see, the screen went to black. It's loading up a fire station now. And if I change here, I can pick between the different departments. So, you know, lifeguard, um, hospital, whatever. So let's go to the hospital. And then we get to pick which hospital we would like. So let's go 
I don't know why I'm being so picky and choosy. It's not like I'm gonna actually play. I'd like to play. <laughs> In fact, I probably will be doing a, a gameplay session after this. So by default, at this hospital, it's I don't know. There's a cheese vehicle. I must have hit enter twice. But you should be working like this then. So you've got this all set up. Vehicle should be working. You should be spawned in. And when you press M, oh, let's press I to get rid of that. You should get a menu like this: enable callouts, update status. Oh. Uh, force of habit. I'm I'm trying to press different keys because it's different keys to select everything. So on this, it's actually your numpad, even though when you're selecting the stations, it's the arrow keys. Uh, so you get this menu. It should be working like this. Let's go ahead and uh, let's uh, get a firefighting unit out. <clears throat> now, I haven't called for backup yet, so I don't know if they're going to dispatch out to me or not. It sounds like they are, though. One of my new vehicles right there. The uh, Picador got replaced by El Camino. And uh, just fair warning for you guys, this isn't going to count as my um, LSPDFR video. This, you know, this is meant to help people with the rescue mod. Well, I guess this isn't technically LSPDFR anyways either way. But uh, yeah, just so you guys know. Uh, so anyways, that's uh, my solution to fixing these issues you guys have probably run into. If you guys have any questions or suggestions, uh, feel free to post them here. I can always update this video if I missed anything. And, um, yeah, just if you guys, like I said, if it helped you, make sure to like, subscribe, share the video. Uh, hopefully this helps quite a few people because there was, like I said, a lot of people looking for help and not really getting much in the way of it. Um, links to those uh, sites and stuff I showed you guys will be included in the uh, in the description for the uh, video here so you'll have the links to the Microsoft uh, C++ and uh, Gangren's actual mod so uh, you guys have a good one you take it easy and I will see you guys soon